Tutorial two is on contouring, so creating more intricate shapes on for your clock outline or other details. So I've cleared my workspace and I'm ready to go. My clock that I'm going to create is inspired by Alexander McQueen. He's used a lot of butterflies in his patterns, so I've typed in butterfly because I would like my clock to be in that shape. None of these images are going to work, okay? They have far too many colours and they're far too intricate for what I want to do. So what I actually need to do is to type something like silhouette or outline or clip art in next to it so I get a clear image like this. So this image here is absolutely perfect. Other than the annoying little shuttlestock thing at the bottom, I'm pretty much able to use this as it is. Um, so if you find something like that, perfect. If you find an image like this, which has this sort of checkerboard background, unfortunately that will not work. Um, the 2D design program just doesn't understand the vector and it will just paste in as a big black box. So that's unfortunately just no good for what you need it for. So try and look for one which has a clear black, uh, white background like this. So I just need to copy that and paste it in. So I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger for you so you can see it nice and clearly. So yes, the laser cutter only understands black and red, but at the moment we need to do a few more things to this to make it work. So we need to go to bitmaps, vectorize, and to click on it and go to monochrome. So for outlining, I advise this luminance uh, slider you adjust so that the shape is really defined and clear particularly if you've got anything sort of quite thin like this bit here so once you're happy with that you can press OK or actually to save yourself some time change the color to red and press OK so red means cut, so this would cut out essentially, but what we don't want is for it to be filled in because the laser cutter will get confused. So what you, all you need to do is go up to here where it says fill, no fill, press OK, and then what we've got is a perfect red outline. That will cut out really, really nice and neatly in the laser cutter, and we've got this annoying bit down here. So there's a couple of ways that you can get rid of that. You can hold down delete and go to delete, um, part and that can delete little sections so that's useful if you've ever got any lines ooh, that you don't want although don't overdo it obviously or another good way of doing it is by going clip to box draw a box around what you want to get rid of change that to clip inside that's very important and press OK and it's gone so then I can drag this over, I can resize it so that it's the right size. I could make sure if I check the dimensions here that the clock mechanism will fit inside and be hidden. And then what I can do, I'm just going to move this down here, make it a little bit bigger for you to see, is I can move this hole where I want it to be. So you may want to turn grid lock off for that. Okay, uh, and then I need to change the line color to red. Now I appreciate that not everybody watching this video is going to want to make a butterfly shaped clock. At least I hope not anyway. But what I hope is that you can use these skills and combine them together with your ideas and create your own outcome. The other thing, where if you do create an outline that might be useful, is that you might want sort of multiple of the same thing. So you don't have to repeat the process. You can just click this button at the bottom, and then you have two. Um, and then obviously if you would like another hole through, so if you've got multiple layers as your actual clock base, you can copy that and line it up again. So you can obviously resize these, we can twist them around because they could maybe be stuck on as different colours for my design. You might want to do something like that. Okay, so in the next video I'm going to show how you can do some engraved details and add text.